dear students in the previous class we have discussed one way and over now suppose that we have performed a one way and over and using the value of f statistics rejected h0 when h0 is rejected it means that the sample means are not say sorry the population means are not the same that is mu1 equal to mu2 is equal to etc mu k is equal to zero is not true mean values are different but it tells us nothing about which means are different which means are different so there are uh, situations in which you may be interested to know which means are different from each other or uh, we may want to know the relations among means so methods dealing with uh, comparing means is known as multiple comparisons multiple comparisons actually it is a post hoc analysis post hoc analysis we first perform a one way anova after rejecting h0 we compare the differences between different population means now there are various methods for multiple comparisons some popular methods are tuki multiple comparison method bonferroni multiple comparison method fisher method shafes method etc and what we consider in this class is tuki multiple comparison method remember this all these comparison methods are available in statistical softwares such as spss so what we consider is tuki multiple comparison test now one approach for implementing multiple comparisons is to determine the confidence intervals for difference between all pairs of population means that is determine confidence intervals for differences between all possible pairs of population means now we declare two confident i mean we declare two mean values as different if the confidence interval will not contain the value zero suppose that we have mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 etc now we want to know whether mu1 is and mu2 are different from each other then we construct a 95% confidence interval for mu1 minus mu2 mu1 minus mu2 and if zero is not included in this confidence interval we declare that mu1 is different from mu2 and remember this 
for if a confidence interval for difference between two population means does not contain zero then we reject h0 that two population means are equal the same principle is used if you are using a confidence interval approach to test the difference between two means then the procedure is we construct the 95% confidence interval and see whether zero is included in this interval or not in the case of testing the the significance of one mean what we do is whether the hypothesized value is in the confidence interval or not but when comparing two mean values the procedure is whether zero is included in this confidence interval or not that is what we do now in multiple comparisons we always make a distinct distinction between individual confidence level in multiple comparison we make a distinction between individual confidence level and a family confidence level we make a distinction between individual confidence level and a family confidence level individual confidence level means the confidence we have that any particular confidence interval contains difference between population means we consider only uh, we consider only one thing that is any particular confidence interval contain difference in the case of family confidence interval the confidence interval we have that all confidence intervals contain difference between corresponding population means so individual confidence interval means we compare only uh, difference between any two population means family confidence interval means we consider difference between all the population means now having clarified what is multiple comparison let us see how to perform multiple comparison using two key tests the test is based on what is known as the studentized the studentized range distribution studentized range distribution that is two key multiple comparison methods is based on studentized range distribution also known as q distribution studentized range distribution also known as q distribution a variable has a q distribution if its distribution has the shape of a special type of right skewed curve known as the q curve multiple comparison is based or based on or two key multiple comparison is based on studentized range distribution or q distribution at a variable has a q distribution if it has the shape of a, a right skewed curve known as the q curve now as in the case of t distribution f distribution chi square distribution etc there are infinitely many q distributions infinitely many q distributions and a particular q distribution is identified using two parameters one is the kappa kappa means kappa is is equal to 
number of populations. Number of populations uh, to the variable. If uh, the variable is classified into four populations, k is four, and new. It is kappa. It is new, and uh, new is n minus k. N minus k. K is again the number of populations. So there are infinitely many Q distributions, and each Q distribution is identified by using two parameters, kappa and nu. Now, the percentage of Q distribution is nothing but the area under the Q curve. And to perform two key multiple comparison, we must know how to find out the value of Q specified as area under the Q curve to the right and it is denoted as Q alpha. Area that is the value of Q with the uh, uh, alpha that is the percentage of Q distribution to the right. For example, uh, as an example to this, it is given in the textbook. Now, suppose that alpha is 0 0.05, suppose also that k is 4 and v is, I mean kappa is 4 and nu is 16, then this is 0 0.05. The value of q is 4.05. Only 5 percent of q distribution lie to the right of 4.05 or 95 percent of the Q distribution lie to the left. Now the formula used in 2 key multiple comparison method for obtaining confidence interval for difference between means is similar to the confidence intervals used for obtaining, I mean used in the context of T distribution. The only difference is instead of critical T values, we use the critical Q values. Both are different. Now, let me uh, conclude this multiple comparison by considering its assumptions and steps. The assumptions are simple random samples, independent samples, normal populations, and equal standard deviations. And uh, as far as the steps, the first step is to determine, the first step to implement this multiple comparison using two key method is to determine 1 minus alpha. If alpha is 5 percent, 95 percent, etc. Then find Q alpha, Q alpha for particular value of k and nu. For example, k is equal to 4, nu is equal to 16 as we have just described. For uh, with a d and v is equal to, I mean nu is equal to n minus k. The third step is obtain the end points of confidence interval for mu i minus mu j. That is, it is given as e x bar i minus x bar j plus or minus q alpha by root 2 into s into root of 1 by n i plus 1 by n j. S is root of root of m s e. So this is what the 95 percent confidence interval once alpha is fixed at 
fixed at 5% and repeat this for all that is x1 x2 x1 x3 x1 x4 x2 x3 x2 x4 like that depending on and uh, using this we construct the confidence intervals for mean difference confidence interval for mean difference and the decision is you for a mu1 mu2 construct a 95% confidence interval and see whether zero is in this interval or not if zero is in this interval accept h0 mu1 is equal to mu2 if zero is not in this interval reject it and you repeat this for all pairs depending on the number of pairs and uh, uh, for all those confidence intervals with uh, zero included in it accept h0 in other cases reject h0 and uh, in the example we have considered energy consumption energy consumption uh, in four us regions f is 6.32 that we have discussed and the critical f was 3.24 so h0 is rejected there is significant difference in the average or mean consumption population mean consumption in four regions and doing this multiple comparison procedure it has been observed that there is significant difference between energy consumption between uh, what to say mu2 and mu3 that is between uh, midwest and south and also between mu2 and mu4 that is between uh, mu4 here is west and midwest there is no difference in the other cases and the calculation will be automatically done by softwares and this is the two key multiple comparison you can use two key multiple comparison or you can use bonferroni you can use shafe or any other multi lsd there are many other multiple comparison procedures all these are post hoc procedures that is it